Despite the fact I'm a highly accredited architect that shares some incredible information here on YouTube, you guys seem to care more about this little tablet here than anything else. What's going on guys? My name's David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the M1 iPad Pro and some of the absolute best applications that you can download to maximize the capabilities of this device. I've owned this device here from the day it was released and genuinely I do use it every single day in conjunction with the little keyboard and the pencil behind me. It is truly something I use every single day for work, for personal life, and for everything in between. Last week, I also did a long-term review on the actual iPad Pro. If you wanna go back and check that out, I'll link that up here. So if you go back to my very first video where I unbox this iPad Pro, you'll see that my home screen has stayed relatively unchanged. Most of the apps that I downloaded from day one have stayed on this device from day one which means I've used them day in, day out, tried them, tested them, and know they are incredible on this device. Now, because this is an architecture channel, the first app I'm gonna talk about is Morfolio Trace. Morfolio Trace is a phenomenal app. I've done multiple reviews on it. It's basically the best PDF markup app you can download on an iPad to use for architecture or anything in between. Even if you're somebody who just likes drawing and sketching and developing their ideas, Morfolio is the perfect app for you. Next, the Office apps are essential. I'm talking Word and Excel out of everything, potentially PowerPoint, depending on what you really do, but Word and Excel have been critical for me. I know these aren't game-changing apps, but they are genuinely must-have on any device to be able to run whatever you need in a professional or personal setting. Now, I do also recommend that you jump onto OneDrive to be able to use Word, Excel, or any of the Office 365 suite relatively seamlessly and without having to go back and forth re-uploading and downloading documents. Now, on my iPad in my productivity folder, I do have Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop. To be 100% honest, I've used them both once. Neither are an app that is a must-have on any iPad they are good, they are phenomenal, they're still better on the computer. I think Lightroom is pretty good on the iPad. I have used it a couple more times than once if I'm being fully honest, but I'm not taking photos on my iPad so it isn't a direct transfer into Lightroom. It isn't that simple. Most of my photos are edited in Lightroom either on my phone or on my desktop if I'm doing batch editing. So unfortunately, neither of those two apps make the cut. What does make the cut is the Discord app. I absolutely love the Discord app. And if you haven't joined the Discord group chat where architects, students, and anybody in the construction industry basically comes on board, talks, and helps each other out, there is a Discord chat link down below. It's 100% free to join. Now, the best thing I personally believe about the iPad Pro is the power and capabilities to run multiple apps at the same time. The M1 chip truly does differentiate it from anything else in the market, so that is why I do brag on about this device so much. The next app I do recommend is a very obvious choice for any business professional, and it's very, very simple. It's having two mail apps. Now, personally, I have the original Apple Mail app set up on this device for all my personal emails. Then I also have Outlook set up for all my business emails. It really lets me differentiate between home life, work life, and keep that balance very, very tight throughout the year, throughout the day, and it is genuinely the best thing if you are a business professional. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Your phone doesn't have to go off 24 seven anymore. You can literally limit all of your communication to this one device. The next app I do highly, highly recommend for any business professional is the Microsoft To Do app. The Microsoft To Do app has been essential on this iPad Pro. It basically lets me manage my day, lets me manage my tasks, and really fundamentally plan out what my next program is gonna be. So if you do need something to manage your apps, manage your tasks, and manage your life pretty much, the to-do list is phenomenal and a must-have app. Now the next app that I do use almost every single day, which is very much architecture related, so feel free to skip to the next one if this doesn't interest you at all, but it is the Archie app. I have made a tutorial on this before. It basically lets you do 3D, AR models of your work in real life using the LiDAR on the back of the iPad Pro. 
Because the iPad Pro has that LiDAR system and it has the M1 chip, it runs seamlessly, flawlessly, absolutely every time. It has yet to crash on me, even with some of the biggest projects I've done to date. Now, at least in my opinion, most business professionals do manage their own finances and they do future-proof their investments. So one of the biggest apps I actually originally bought this iPad for, believe it or not, wasn't for architecture, but it was actually for stock trading. I use the Comsec app in conjunction with IG Markets. IG Markets on the tablet is way, way better than any desktop version I've used of any trading platform. So if you are a business professional looking to invest in their own personal finances and trade on the stock market, I provide absolutely no advice, no opinion on any of that whatsoever on this channel. So if you're looking for that, this isn't the channel for you, but I do recommend the IG Markets app or any stock trading app on the iPad because it just makes it so simple to carry around this one paper thin tablet with a pencil, track your stocks, and actually do your fundamental analysis when you need to on the go. And that is basically my full breakdown of the business essential apps for an iPad Pro with the M1 chip. If you're in the architecture profession, there was a couple golden nuggets in there for you. If you're just a regular business professional looking to use the M1 iPad Pro as your day-to-day -day driver that can basically replace your entire laptop, especially with the keyboard and pencil combination. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found some good apps that you haven't used before or just got reassured that you are using some of the best business essential apps out there for the M1 iPad Pro. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Feel free to leave a comment. I reply to absolutely everybody as I do get a notification every time somebody comments. And if you enjoyed this sort of content or are looking for more architecture content in any way, shape or form, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below as well. But like I said, that's all for me today. So thank you so much for watching and like always, I'll see you next Monday.